like to call this meeting of the Villa Park Village Board on October 8th at 7 p.m. to order. Clerk Konecki, would you please call the roll? Yes, Trustee Aiello. Trustee Salella. Here. Trustee Cazone. Here. Trustee Case. Here. Trustee Tucker. Here. Trustee Wagner. Here. President Wolfus. Here. Let's all stand for our pledge, and after a pledge, please remain standing for a short prayer. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We have a short prayer. Uh, Trustee Wagner, please. Heavenly Father, we come to you today asking for your guidance, wisdom, and support as we begin this meeting. Help us to engage in meaningful discussion. Allow us to grow closer as a group and nurture the bonds of community. Fill us with your grace as we make decisions that might affect the residents, staff, businesses, surrounding communities, and all those that enter the village of Villa Park. And continue to remind us that all we do here today, all that we accomplish, is for the pursuit of truth, for the greater glory of you, and for the service of humanity. We ask these things in your name. Amen. Amen. Okay, uh, next item on the agenda is public comment on agenda items. Uh, Clerk Konecki, does anyone, has anyone signed up? I have no one on the list. Okay, anyone, uh, last chance from the audience? Seeing none, we'll move on to item number four is the amendment to the agenda. Do we have any amendments to the agenda? Seeing none, we'll go on to the Lions Club 95th Anniversary Proclamation. I gotta get this glare right here. Whereas the Lions Club was organized in 1917 by Melvin Jones and within three years had gone international, at which point Helen Keller uh, challenged the Lions to become Knights of the Blind in a crusade against darkness. And whereas the mission of the Lions Club is to empower uh, volunteers to serve their communities, meet humanitarian needs, encourage peace and promote international understanding through Lions Club. And whereas the Ville Park Lions Club is celebrating its 95th year of service to the community of Villa Park. And whereas the Ville Park Lions focus their energies on the five lion service areas, diabetes, environment, hunger relief, pediatric cancer, and vision. And whereas the Villa Park Lions have uh, donated countless hours and resources toward scholarships for students, free vision testing services, provisions for local food pantries, glasses and hearing aid collection uh, and recycling, and many other valuable causes serving residents of Villa Park uh, and, and those in need throughout the world. Now therefore, be it resolved, I, Albert Walteis, uh, the village president of Villa Park, do hereby res resolve that to pay a tribute to the Bill Villa Park Lions Club for 95 years of dedicated service and positive influence on the community of Villa Park. This day, the, uh, not on here, but today is the 8th uh, eight, 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 eight. of 18th. I'm gonna for you guys.
Uh, we uh, have had the vision van, the hearing van, uh, out at uh, different functions of the village to support the, our, our community. Uh, wasn't expecting to do this. So, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the lines, uh, you know, we, 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 we support diabetes, the environment, hunger relief, pediatric cancer, and vision. Uh, mainly it's pediatric care, vision, and hearing. So, uh, when you see one of us, uh, you'll, we wear the uh, funny yellow vests. Ask us about it. We'd love to have you as a member. We're constantly recruiting members uh, to help us, help the, the, the village. Thank you. As a village, we'd like to thank you too. 95 years, that's, uh, that's, that's quite a time. And uh, you're very visible around the community and helping out. I see uh, places to drop off eyeglasses and yes. so they can be re reprocessed and reused by people exactly. in need. So, uh, you know, it, it takes a group like, like the Lions to make the community what it is. And uh, we really appreciate all the work you do. Thank so, you. Thank, thank you. you Beatus or uh, Kevin, yeah, do that for us. Yeah. Beatus, welcome. I'll be a member back in. Okay, <laughs> the next item is Fire Prevention Week Proclamation. Whereas the village of Villa Park committed to ensuring the safety and security of all those living and visiting our village, and whereas the National Fire Protection Association reports that the U.S. Fire Departments respond to 3,000 365,500 home fires in 2015. That home fire deaths resulted in 2,745 civilian deaths, and that home fires represent uh, a majority, 78% of all U.S. fire deaths. Whereas with the modernization of home construction materials, it is estimated that people have as little as two minutes to escape a burning home after smoke alarm sounds if they have one, hopefully they do. Whereas home fire escape plans should be developed and practiced twice a year by all members of the household to ensure that everyone in the household knows what to do in a real fire situation. And whereas the 2018 Fire Prevention Week theme, Every Second Counts, Plan Two Ways Out, effectively serves to educate the public about the vital importance of developing and practicing a home fire escape plan. Now therefore I, Albert Bothais, Village President, do hereby proclaim October 7th through 13, 2018 as Fire Prevention Week throughout the village. And I urge Villa Park residents to develop a home fire escape plan with all members of the household and practice it twice a year. And to participate in the many public safety activities and, and efforts of the Villa Park Fire Department during the Fire Prevention Week of 2018. Proclaim this eighth day of October 2018. So, and the Fire Department does have a number of, uh, uh, well they have their open house this coming weekend. They have a number of activities there and encourage the residents to, to stop by there between the noon and 3 p.m. and uh, bring their children because there's plenty of activities there for them and you can see some demonstrations on, uh, on putting out fires and how fast fires can spread. And, but there'll also be some uh, events there for the, uh, for the children, you know, like puppet show and uh, rescue demo for, to, to watch and see how that goes. So, and you also have some refreshments. So stop by there. Uh, firemen, the fire department would really love to show you uh, what they have and what they can do for the residents. Sure, come on forward here. I didn't hope I didn't take all your uh, thunder. You kind of stole my thunder. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant Chris Gillen, the Bill Park Fire Department. I'm here to invite you and the public to our annual open house to celebrate Fire Prevention Week. Saturday, October t uh, 13th, this Saturday, from noon to 3 p.m. Parking is across the street at the uh, Bill Park Post Office. 
Uh, we're going to have the police there. They're going to help everybody across the street so nobody gets injured. Uh, like you said, we're going to have uh, um, fire safety puppet shows. We're going to have a technical rescue uh, demonstration. <coughs> uh, some raffles. Elmer's Hospital is going to be there. The police are going to be there. DuPage Vet. Uh, uh, North Avenue is going to come and set up a display. ComEd is going to be there. Uh, Ducom, our dispatcher is going to be there. They're going to have all these displays set up. We're going to have balloons, helmets. We're going to spray the hose. Live fire, uh, live fire demonstration. We basically build a room, furnish it with everything that you would find in your house normally, set it on fire, and see how fast it goes up. That's so quite impressive. It is. That. That is. It makes a real impression. Everybody loves that. Yeah. You can actually feel <laughs> the heat from how fast the fire goes, and you'll, you're going to be 20, 30 feet away, and you're going to feel the heat. It's, a, it's pretty impressive. So I hope to see everybody there. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for you. doing that. Thank you for your <coughs> dedication and your time for the Bill Farm. My pleasure. Thank you. Okay, we'll move on to the consent agenda. And on the consent agenda, we have the minutes from the public hearing on September 24, 2018. The minutes from the board meeting on September 24, 2018. And C, the bill listing for the week of September 24th and October 1st, 2018, for a total of 300 $832,846.18. Do we have a motion for the consent agenda? Trustee Cazone? Mr. President, I'll make the motion. Trustee Case? Second. Okay. Any questions? Seeing none, roll call vote. Trustee Wagner? Yes. Trustee Tucker? Yes. Trustee Silella? Yes. Trustee Cazone? Yes. Trustee Case? Yes. President Bolkis? Yes. Item number eight is the first reading of an ordinance of the village, village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, amending chapter two of the village code, Manager Keener. Thank you, Your Honor. The Cable TV Commission has requested to change its regularly scheduled meeting dates to the second Monday of every month, which requires a change to village ordinance. Additionally, this ordinance seeks to dissolve the Summerfest Commission. Staff has noticed a recent decline in resident interest to serve on the commission and most seated commission members have resigned from their positions. Staff believes the event to still be of value to the community. The event will be planned and executed by the Parks and Recreation Department in conjunction with community volunteer support as available. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay. Seeing that this is a code change, this is just the first reading, so we don't need a motion. Uh, does any board member have any questions or comments? I just want to say thank you to the people that have served in the past on the Summer Fest Commission. I know it's a lot of work, mm -hmm. and uh, so I wouldn't leave anybody out. I, I'm not going to mention names, but uh, there's many people that have served, and you know, uh, I know it's hard work. So that's all I have. Thank you. Okay. Anyone else? I just want to add to the Summer Fest that what the commission, the original commission, did set the standard and the goal. Uh, that uh, the Parks and Rec Department now has in front of them that they have to meet. And it, that group of dedicated and hardworking uh, <laughs> residents of Villa Park put that together um, and has been a very uh, important and well attended and enjoyed events by all the residents. So I too, Trustee Wayne, would like to thank those uh, commissioners for all the hard work they did. So, okay. No other questions? We'll move on to item number nine. Is an ordinance of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, authorizing the sale by public auction of personal property and seized vehicles owned by the Village of Villa Park. Andrew Keener. Thank you, Your Honor. Proceeds from the sale of the vehicles will be placed into the Equipment Replacement Fund and will be used to purchase additional equipment. So the first uh, vehicle is a seized 2006 Chevy van. Second is a seized 2004 Ford Expedition. Next is a seized 2000 Mercury Grand Marquis. Next is a seized 1996 Chevy Blazer. Next is a seized 2002 Chrysler Sebring. Next is a village surplus vehicle number 39 which is a 2005 Ford Explorer. And the last vehicle is uh, Village Surplus Vehicle Number 36, a 2002 Ford Explorer. Thank you, Your Honor. Do we have a motion for the ordinance? Make the motion. Trustee Siello, okay. And Trustee Case? Second. 
we we'll both raise our hand. Okay. Any questions or comments? Seeing none, we'll call vote. Trustee Wagner? Yes. Trustee Cazone? Yes. Trustee Tucker? Yes. Trustee Salella? Yes. Trustee Case? Yes. Present Boldus? Yes. Item 10 is a resolution of the village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, authorizing Halloween trick or treat hours. Manager Keener. Thank you, Your Honor. Our village has historically passed by resolution a time and date for children to participate in Halloween trick or treating. By adopting this resolution, a uniform time is recommended for the event, thereby allowing the police department to increase patrol for the purpose of protecting the children who are participating in the Halloween festivities. It is recommended that the Village Board approve the official trick or treating hours of 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. on Wednesday, October 31st, 2018. Thank you, Your Honor. Do I have a motion for the resolution? We'll make a motion. Trustee Ciela, second. Trustee Case? Second. Right. Any questions or comments? Seeing none, roll call vote. Trustee mm -hmm. Tucker? Yes. Trustee Cazone? Yes. Trustee Wagner? Yes. Trustee Salella? Yes. Trustee Case? Yes. President Bolvis? Yes. Item 11 is a resolution of the Village <coughs> of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, establishing the holiday schedule and regular meeting dates for the Villa Park Board of Trustees for the calendar year 2019. Manager Keener. Thank you, Your Honor. The Villa Park Municipal Code contains various references to meetings and holidays. On an annual basis, the Board of Trustees establishes and approves a schedule of the meetings of the Village of Villa Park Board of Trustees, as well as the Village's annual holiday schedule. Staff recommends that the President and Board of Trustees pass a resolution to establish the holidays and meeting dates for the Villa Park Board of Trustees for the 2019 calendar year. Thank you, Your Honor. Do you have a motion for the resolution? Trustee Tucker? That motion. Okay, Trustee Wagner? I'll second that motion. Okay. Any questions or comments from the Board? Seeing none, roll call vote. Trustee Cazone? Yes. Trustee Case? Yes. Trustee Salella? Yes. Trustee Wagner? Yes. Trustee Tucker? Yes. President Bolvis? Yes. Item 12 is appointment to the Parks and Rec Advisory Commission of Samuel Bosom, Jr. Uh, for a term from 10-2-18 uh, through 4-30 of 2021. We have a motion for the appointment. President Bolvis, I'll make that motion. Okay. Do I have a second? Trustee Cazone? I'll second it. Okay. Any comments, questions? Just you, Cazone. <laughs> I'd like to congratulate uh, uh, Sam for coming on board. He's been he's a couple of uh, coffee with the board, and it's nice to see uh, getting involved in the community. It's, uh, it's a great community to be with, and uh, it's nice to see new, new residents getting involved. So congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for volunteering, too. It's, I think you'll enjoy it. So, Anyone else? OK, roll call vote. OK, Trustee Tucker. Yes. Trusty Case? Yes. Trusty Silella? Yes. Trusty Wagner? Yes. Trusty Cazone? Yes. President Bolton? Yes. Item 13 is public comments on non agenda items. Do we have anyone signed up? No one on the list okay. tonight. Thank Anybody you. Uh, wants? Uh oh. <laughs> please come up to the mic and uh, state your name, please. Okay. Everybody already knows you, but uh, yeah, anyway, it's fine. <laughs> uh, my <coughs> check writing name is Charles Sid Esberg, but every. You guys can call me Sid. Okay. <laughs> or, that's it, I'm not sure if there's a team for a more. <laughs> never mind. <clears throat> but I want to I say I'm living in the past, and uh, I was thinking more than he started at 7.30, and so I have to apologize for not being here for that proclamation that you guys did. And I would like to tell you that we're, um, we're uh, approaching Candy Day, and I believe we still haven't got it completely firmed up, but I believe this coming weekend we will be either at uh, the uh, Jewel or, uh, yeah, somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> and again, again, I have to apologize because as you get old, you get so much stuff and put into the brain, you know, that I mean, after, uh, that it has you have trouble. Uh, it slowly, really, it slows down releasing the information. That's my story, and I'm going to stick with it. it. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, if any, <laughs> if you would like to have a, of course, we're on a uh, recruiting drive for the Lions Club, and the Lions Club collects money and glasses, and uh, we'll have, possibly, we'll probably have 
a site bus where you can get uh, people can get free uh, uh, eye examinations and a hearing bus where they can get free hearing schedules. We also collect gas, glasses that will be distributed to uh, over in probably the poorer nations of the world. We can't give them away up here, but that is used glasses. I, I think there's some ordinance against it, but uh, uh, <coughs> uh, we do help young uh, people with uh, <coughs> very fortunate that can be seen. We also support Camp Lions. And uh, I was fortunate enough to listen to a little girl, a young girl, I think she was 12 at the time, she said that when she first went to Camp Lyons, oh, she was completely deaf. And when she first went to Camp Lyons, she found out for the first time that there were other people that felt that way, that were that way. And that she just wasn't alone being different from other people. And uh, they gave her the implant Later on, he gave her the implant that, so that she could be hearing and uh, get with people. And I thought, boy, that gave me goosebumps just listening to it. And uh, then, my friends, I will thank you all for listening to me, and I hope you can close the meeting without any other controversy. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, sir. <laughs> okay, we'll move on to the clerk's report. I just want to uh, mention to public that uh, early voting uh, begins this month, October 22 through uh, November 3rd. Uh, we have early voting in our area. The closest would be Elmhurst City Hall and on York Road, and also there's Yorktown, um, and that is from October 22 till November 5th. They go a little bit longer than the City Hall, Elmhurst. And that's Fri Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 7.30 p.m., Saturday 9 to 5 and Sunday 10 to 4. So just to help people get be aware of what's happening out there. Thank you, that's all. Okay. Moving on to the trustee's report. We'll start on my right with Trustee Shiela. Uh, no report this evening. Okay. Trustee Cazone. Uh, just one thing, congratulations to the Wilbur's football team. Again, they're 7-0 uh, and uh, making the playoffs again, so they're, they're looking good. So congratulations to Coach Holdreth and the, the squad. And good luck to them the rest of the season. That's it. Trustee Case? Nothing tonight. Trustee Tucker? Um, first of all, I'd like to be the first one to invite you and everyone else to the Park and Rec meeting tomorrow night at 7 o'clock at Iowa Center. Um, I also wanted to bring the attention to the people of Villa Park that the Community Congregational Church is not having their pumpkin patch this year, but they are having a celebration on October 20th. From 9 to 3, there will be pumpkins sold. Um, there will be a um, jump house, uh, storytelling being told, um, a lot of arts and crafts going on that day. So do come out and join the uh, community congregation on that day. They're just having a one-day festival this year on um, October 20th from 9 to 3. Thank you. Trustee Wagner. Thank you, President Both of us, I just have a couple things. Uh, the Traffic and Safety Commission will be meeting here at Village Hall uh, tomorrow at 8 p.m. Um, the Cable Commission meeting, per our ordinance, uh, will be next week, Monday, uh, the 15th, at 6 p.m. here at Village Hall. And starting in November, uh, they're going to be holding some classes on Saturday. For folks who are interested in learning about uh, producing uh, content for uh, cable, and uh, I would just encourage folks, if you're interested in that, to come out. It's like three successive Saturdays uh, that they'll be holding training. Um, I wanted to thank the village for allowing me to attend the DuPage Rail Safety Council meeting, which was on uh, Thursday, uh, September 27th. Uh, very interesting program. Um, they talked about the measures that they've taken to uh, to cut down on the number of trespass suicides. Some very interesting information. They're starting to use uh, drones or UVAs, as they call them, um, and that was very interesting. And uh, there was someone there from the British Rail Network, and they talked about, and they have kind of led the way, and they've been kind of acting as a consultant uh, for the rails, you know, for different rail networks. Um, 
and something a little disturbing, but I guess it's a coming in the future. We there's been much talk about autonomous cars. Well, uh, autonomous trains are in our future, so um, something to be aware of. And just that there was an interesting presentation by uh, Officer Mike Dugan from the Page County Sheriff's Department. <coughs> And he talked about crisis intervention as it relates to rail safety. Um, and it was just, it was, uh, I did speak with him afterwards and he mentioned that our police force kind of leads the way in the number of officers that have gone through the crisis intervention training. So that was, that was good, that was good information. Good to know. Um, I wanted to let folks know about the uh, pumpkin smash, which is, will be held uh, by, it's uh, by the, uh, Environmental Concerns Commission in conjunction with SCARES. This will be on uh, Saturday, November 3rd from 9 a.m. to noon and just encourage folks to bring their pumpkins to be composted. It's kind of fun to smash your pumpkin in a, in a, in a dumpster and we just encourage folks to do that. Just remove the candles and other non-compostable -compost items. Um, the, uh, the early bird registration for the um, Villa Park Junior Women's Club Trick or Trot, which is going to be on Saturday, October 27th, has ended, but you can still register for that event, um, which starts at 8 a.m. Uh, at the gazebo, and this is one of the main um, events that they use to uh, fund their scholarship program. And just lastly, um, as we head into the, the fall season, I uh, just want to remind folks to um, keep storm drains cl clear <coughs> and do not uh, do not rake your leaves into the street. I think Trustee Case has mentioned this many times in the past, so just good information. And that's all I have. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. I just have a couple items, too. First, I'd like to... Uh, Thank the Parks and Recs Department for the brew fest that we put on uh, last weekend. Uh, you, I think we might have set a record on tickets sold. I think it was like 460. So it was a nice, uh, well-organized uh, uh, event, and it seemed like everyone was having a, a good time, especially after they had a few beers. So, <laughs> so, but there wasn't any problems, so everybody was well uh, uh, it was well organized. So thank you for that. And I'd also like to say a thank you to our Villa Park Police Department. They've been kind of busy with uh, grants lately. And uh, I see that we've received a grant from the Bureau of Justice Assistance for $4,675 for bulletproof vests. And uh, we also received a grant of $44,215 for, um, from the, um, let's see here, Department of, of Transportation for uh, traffic enforcement different times during the year. So sometimes when they do those safety checks, uh, the, everybody's wondering how we get, that's how this is all paid for. So thank you for the police department for uh, acquiring those grants for us. So with that, we'll move down to the van manager's report. Your Honor, I'm passing this evening. Okay. <clears throat> Took all your thunder, huh? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, next item on the agenda is executive session. Uh, we have five ILCS 120 slash 2 C1 personnel matters. C, did I say T2? I said C1. C, okay, C2, collective bargaining matters. C5, purchase or lease of property. C6, sale and lease of property. C11, pending litigation. And C21, discussion of closed session minutes. Do we have a motion for executive session? Trustee Cazon? President, I'll make that motion. Do we have a second? A second. Trustee Chiella? And uh, roll call vote, please. Okay, Trustee Case? Yes. <clears throat> Trustee Wagner? Yes. Trustee Tucker? Yes. Trustee Silella? Yes. Trustee Cazon? Yes. President Volpes? Yes. And with that, uh, we'll go into executive session. We will not be coming back. And our next meeting is on uh, October 22nd, right here in this boardroom. So, see you in a couple weeks. Thank you.